What if I told you there is something you can do right now and that have a significant physical strength for your body and also for your mind? And what if I told you that the same thing is what you can do anywhere, anytime, and most importantly, it's free. Would you want to try it? Yes. yes. Now I'm telling you, this amazing thing is moving your body. <laughs> so what I want to do today is to tell you a story about how I experienced and discovered the benefit of exercise in the, la in the past 27 years. <laughs> And it was like uh, doing an experiment on myself without even knowing it. When I was 10, I joined the swimming team at school. As a student athlete, the most common stereotype for us was this guy was were really good at sports, but not good at studying at all. That sucks. <laughs> However, among all of my classmates or team members usually have higher academic performance wow. than others. But why? That's weird. Because we, we were supposed to burn out during training and have no energy to study, right? So I thought, Maybe it was a miserable thing. Maybe it's a miracle. However, 17 years later, I realized, <laughs> I realized this is not a coincidence. And let me tell you why. As you may know, I finished the 2 to 6 triathlon challenge last month. <laughs> And some people ask me, why do you really love this sport? And I was like, love? <laughs> I would never fall in love with something that almost killed me. <laughs> so after the 2 to 6 challenge, I stopped all of my physical activities. That means I didn't have to wake up before 6 to go running or swimming anymore. And I could tell you, that was so good. <laughs> I could have enough sleep and didn't have to suffer from the soreness after the training. And what's important, I don't have to do the two to six anymore. I quit, I don't want to do it. And that's my thinking now. So, but after two weeks, I realized something was going wrong. I, can, I could not focus on one thing as long as before, which causes the lower performance at work. So, as a curious boy, I went to the literature and finally got the answer. According to Dr. Suzuki, who is a neuroscientist, she mentioned that Exercise is the most transformative thing you can do for your brain. And there are three reasons. Number one, the level of the neurotransmitters such as dopamine or endorphin will increase dramatically right after a single workout. And this kind of changes help you to have a good mood and good focus. And number two, Exercise helps you to produce new brain cells in your hippocampus, which is really good, really important for your long-term members. And number three, exercise helps you to pay attention more, to have a better attention, and which is dependent on your prefrontal cortex right over here to get better focus. And this explains why athletes usually have higher performance, even after the training. 
I, I always believe action speaks louder than words. So as a protector of your health tonight, <laughs> I would like to ask you all to stand up. <laughs> Come on, I'm serious. Let's do a one minute workout together, okay? So DJ, drop the beats. Oh, I'm a DJ, yeah? Huh? <laughs> we are ready. Let's work out. Yeah, come on, come on. We're out. Just do what I do and say what I say, okay? okay. But make sure don't punch your neighbors. One, two, one, two, one, two, ready. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two right, left. One, two, right, left. One, two, right, left. One, two, right, left. Give me a T. 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 Give me a high. Stop the beat. Thank you very much. <laughs> and now my speed rate is 140. So now I want to leave you the last message tonight. And that is, without commitment, you will never start. And without consistency, you will never finish. So my dear members, start moving your body from now and enjoy all the positive changes for your life and for your mind. Toastmaster. Oh